This woman suddenly transformed into a monster and attacked the man straight on and made him hand over the thunder staff. She is Nemesis. Just a few days ago, Zeus had his thunderbolt stolen. He thought it was the work of Percy the son of Poseidon. When the gods found out, they all wanted it and went to Earth to take it. So the goddess of vengeance tricked Percy and turned on him and that's when it happened. Percy's friend came in and saved Percy. Percy couldn't believe it that his best friend was his guardian. When he got home, mom took him to the demigod academy. On the way Percy realized who he was. On the way a minotaur was watching them. But when they got to the door, Mom was grabbed by the Minotaur. The Minotaur tore her apart. Percy exploded in a flash. He took out the Minotaur, and in the end, he lost his strength. He passed out. When he woke up and saw his friend, he realized that everything was real. This academy is a protection camp for demi-humans and demigods. Here he met Anna, Athena's daughter. He just put his injured hand in the water, and it was miraculously restored. Then Percy, who had gained mysterious powers, he defeated Anna and captured her heart. He became a hero to everyone. At the evening party, Hades suddenly appeared. He threatened Percy with the soul of his mother to give him the thunder staff in order to save his mother. Percy decided to go to the underworld, and his best friend decided to help Percy. Before he did, they found Luke, the son of Zeus, to ask how to get to the underworld. Luke told them. He told them that the underworld is a place where you can only go in and out. To get back, you need to find three beads, and gave them three things. Flying shoes, a map to find the beads, and a shield. Then they came to the first station. They found it was full of stone statues. Yes, this is Medusa's place. If they looked at Medusa, they would be petrified. They didn't dare to open their eyes the whole time. In the chaos, Percy used the reflex of his cell phone and chopped off Medusa's head. She got the first bead. The men suddenly transformed into Hydra, and without saying a word, they attacked them. Just now, Percy and the others arrived at the second museum and got the beads with ease, and before they could get away, they were stopped by Hydra, who attacked them with fire. Percy cut off their heads, and two more heads sprouted. At the critical moment, Percy suddenly awakened his Poseidon bloodline, but he couldn't defeat the Hydra's attack. At that critical moment, they relied on Medusa's head, successfully petrified Hydra. Finally, the three of them arrived at the casino. They ate the poisoned dessert and forgot why they came here. Luckily, Percy finally came to his senses, woke them up and got the third bead. They went back to the underworld. Ike met the king of the underworld. He told him he didn't have the thunder staff. He was furious. He wanted to kill his mother. When Percy saw his mother, he dropped his shield. He didn't realize what he was looking for, that what he had been searching for was in the shield. The king of the underworld had the thunder staff, and he tried to kill them, but he never expected that he would die at the hands of the queen of the underworld. The queen of the underworld returned the thunder staff to Percy, and in the end, Percy was able to save his mother, and returned the staff to Zeus to stop the war.